brides think that the big day will be magical and perfect, and of course it will be, but that does not mean that your special day will be free of small disasters. And that's why every nervous bride needs to have an emergency plan for that dreaded nightmare, a stain on her gown. <laughs> Joe Halleck of Halleck Cleaners on Manhattan's Upper East Side is here this morning to show us how to control day of stain emergencies from champagne or grease or blood. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I know that Halleck Cleaners is really the dry cleaner of choice for the houses of Chanel, Hermes, Armani. So if mm -hmm. they trust you, I guess you must really be the doctor of stainology. We try to be. We have a pretty good <laughs> reputation at what we do. And also we're talking about wedding gowns today, but really the, the stain techniques that you're going to share with us can be used for any, any clothing, they can be. correct? They can be. The, the one thing you want to preface it all by is saying, Test in an unexposed area, whether you, you're doing a, a different garment besides a wedding gown, always test on an unexposed area. If it's silk satin, be very careful. You may want to leave it alone because there's sizings and sheens on it. You don't want to dull the finish or pull the sizings out. Okay, so if your gown is silk, then some of these techniques may not be advisable. But exactly. this is really for, more for synthetic. About 75% of the gowns mm -hmm. now are synthetic. Really? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna, we, we do have silk also here, but I'm just saying silk satins are the most difficult and, and they should really be tested before you go ahead and do anything. Okay, so we have four different kinds of stains here. Makeup being probably the most common. I mean, you put on any dress and, you know, many women get makeup on their clothing. Mm -hmm. So here you have a swatch of what looks like foundation. We do. And you say you could use pretty, like, routine things, household products to get rid of a stain. What are you, you using right on that Right now one? we're just putting a little bit of water on it to loosen it up. Okay. We're going to take lemon dish detergent because it has something called limoline in it and that helps uh, remove grease stains. It's palm and olive. I'm soaking in it. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to go lightly with this. Okay. Okay, with the brush. So that's just dish detergent. That's just this. And then we're going to use the bottom of a spoon to move it around a little. Really? We have a towel here. I'm not going to work on the whole stain over here, but uh -huh. as it you really can see, this whole thing. It's disappearing. I don't know it if viewers can see it. It's, it's completely disappearing. Now, what about the, the water that you've put on this? Is that going to leave a ring? Well, it could. And so, what we would do is wet our towel a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we would take it and feather this out. Now, sometimes, just so you know, this will take two or three shots. Okay. But you can say oh, where yeah, we worked on it. And then out. you would take your hair dryer, start from the inside, and go out. Okay, so are we talking cold water or hot water? Doesn't make cold a difference. Cold water, cold water. You don't want to use hot water because it'll set some stains. Okay, I always get confused. I know it's one or the other. So yeah. cold water. Stick with cold water. Cold water, dish detergent, mm -hmm. and the back of a spoon. All right, let's move on to blood. Blood, we're going to put some peroxide. Okay, and again, you don't want to set it with hot water. You don't want to set it with hot water. We're going to rub that lightly. A little peroxide. Okay, a little peroxide. Uh -huh. Okay, it's taking most of it out. Then we're going to use blue laundry detergent because it has some alkali in it, which will help us remove the blood stain. And that came and right out. All right, we're running short on time, so let's move on now. Champagne, wine, that certainly can spill the Champagne, in. if you, you know what, if you spill champagne, all you want to do is wet a towel, okay. wipe it down the best you can, and again, with the blow dryer, start from the center and move your way out. Okay, so you don't recommend putting any, adding anything to wine no, or champagne? No, I wouldn't put any chemicals on it, no. Okay, and finally, grease. Grease. Uh, dirt, grease, it's certainly the bottom of gowns mm -hmm. can get filthy in, in, in a, a dam, on a dance floor. It could. And if it's a light color, Address, it's you think it's finished. What are you putting on this? We have satin and organza. Stain? On the organza, we're going to use mineral spirits. Actually, let me remove this from here because okay. it'll be organza being more of a, a natural. It's a more porous. Uh huh. Okay, and if we remove that towel, what we just worked on is out. Mineral and on the, spirits. Mineral spirits on a loosely woven fabric, it takes it all out. And on the satin, we're going to actually we're going to wet it down again. Okay. Okay. We're going to take our toothbrush from here. With if cold you can be nice water. enough to get my spoon for me, yes, of we're going to put a little bit of less toil on there. Okay. Less toil <laughs> has many uses, apparently. It does. And this will slowly but surely, it'll take your grease stain out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why the back of a spoon? It's just not going to leave it. It's well, not going to damage the use, fabric. Well, if you use the edge of a spoon, you could damage the fabric a little. Uh huh. And by doing that, and you can also, with that, you can use the dish detergent because the limoline will also okay, help well, the grease. Okay, well, I'm certainly going to go out and buy dish detergent and less toil. And here. <laughs> and you know, just and before you go, also. It, it is coming out. The stains are coming out. So not club soda, regular water. Just regular water. Cold water. Okay, Joe. And there Joe you go. Hallett. That's removed. And we even have an emergency kit that we put together that people can, can I get. I love it. it, it 
there are a lot of disasters that could be avoided this way. There are. <laughs> There's a lot of so other much. secrets, too. All right, Joe Halleck from Halleck Couture Cleaners. I want those other secrets, too. And we're coming right back. Thank you.